Hey guys, welcome to day 121. That's right, we did four months carnivore, 120 days. Maybe it's like touched keto a few little times, no big deal, but essentially, uh, carnivore for the most part, um, 120 days, and now day 121. Um, so today I wanted to do a quick recap because not everybody could watch the live where I did the um, the weight uh, reveal and measurements and all that stuff. I, I realize that sometimes it could be a lot to sit through when you do a live. So today we're going to do a recap and talk a little bit about goals so that way we can just get everything accomplished. So first things first, guys, let me show you the way in for day 120. And there you have it. We are down to 268.1. So just to kind of give you some numbers. Um, so, of course, you can see all my stats down below in the description. You can see what I weighed at day 90, day 90, like the measurements. And then, of course, the measurements for yesterday. Um, you can see that I lost two and a half inches off my waist. I lost an inch off my chest area and a quarter inch off my neck nothing around my hips though um but that's fine that's fine i want i want to keep losing around the waist especially um so that's awesome and and that those measurements by the way were just over 30 days now over the the last 30 days from day 90 to day 120 we're talking uh it was a loss of 8.8 .8 pounds so that's awesome now, if you want to know the full stats, over the last four months, I've lost 47 pounds, and I've been averaging 2.9 pounds a week lost. So that's awesome. That means by the end of this year, realistically, I can be down. I mean, you figure, look, if, if let's just say we got, uh, I mean, let, let's just say if I kept on the similar path, right? And let's see how many how many months like a year's total. Uh, where are we at now? Anyways, we are getting ready to go into April. So you figure three months. You figure what? Uh, let's just let's just say six months, and then let's just say six months time. Okay, that's twenty four weeks, right? So that would be a total of I would lose if I stay on this pace. I would lose sixty nine. Point six pounds. <laughs> 69. Anyways, 69 pounds in the next six months. If I just stayed doing what I'm doing and I continue this average of 2.9 pounds a week. That's just that's just rough numbers. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna take things one at a time. So I'm down to 268. What does that mean? Well, my goal for day 180 was to get down below 265, right? Well, we're three pounds away. So I think realistically a good goal to shoot for for the next 60 days. So on day 180, I would like to be at 250 or under. That would be my goal. Now, again, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. So, again, you guys know everything I eat every day. I tell you guys approximately what I eat every single day. I try not to leave anything out. I try to be as straightforward with you as I possibly can. And, of course, you guys can always ask me if you have questions about it. Um, let's see. So that's my measurements. That's not, now, the one thing I did drop the ball on, and that was the weights. Remember I said I wanted to do those five exercises for 90 days every other day? Well, I dropped the ball on that because I had gotten sick earlier like in the 30 days and like I had gotten those cramps I had gotten sick so and they were all like right at times when I was gonna do the workouts and stuff so I only did a few of them or whatever like the ones that I told you back then but I haven't been doing those so I am gonna resume those uh, in fact tomorrow morning I'm gonna be resuming the five exercises every other day you know for the next 60 days but I also want to let you know that, and, and, I, and I touched upon this during the live, is that 
I kind of consider myself a little bit of an experiment for you guys as well, because, you know, and this has to do with finances and everything. Like, look, anybody can go out and just buy ribeye steaks and everything else if you have the money. But I don't have the money to be eating ribeyes every day. Now, some people say, well, yeah, but Josh, what about the money you save on not eating the other garbage? Well, you could argue that. But unfortunately, uh, pasta and bread and some things like that are actually a lot cheaper. <laughs> like I've been paying my family eats regular still for the most part. So I actually can get them like these pasta dinners and everything else for about 20 bucks. You know, I can feed four people almost with them. Whereas, you know, a ribeye steak and yes, you can get ribeye steaks for under 20 bucks, but then you're talking about not eating enough. So then you got to, you know, sort of supplement with eggs and, you know, again, right now I'm doing what I can financially. So whether it's ground beef, top sirloin steak every once in a while, whatever I can do, I'm trying to do it financially the best I can. So believe me, if if I could afford ribeyes every day and things like that, I would. So I'm, I'm looking at myself as an experiment of what would an everyday person, somebody that doesn't have maybe that upfront capital to buy a half a cow or a whole cow, as some people have suggested, they're like, hey, get with your local you know, uh, the markets, the butcher markets and the like the meat markets and the, the local ranchers. See if you can buy like half cows, whole cows and process the meat. I would love to say I could do that, but I can't afford the upfront money. And yes, I know it would save money in the long run. So, again, I'm trying to look at what if a average person like me that doesn't have upfront money, that doesn't have time to work out. And just did carnivore. What would that look like? That's kind of the experiment that's in my head. And I'm hoping that you guys are seeing that, that even just a regular person that doesn't have a lot of extra money to throw around without working out is losing weight. And I'm down 47 pounds. I'm feeling good. You know, uh, almost every day I feel good. There's just those few weird instances every once in a while that, again, could be chalked up to whatever, hydration, electrolytes, you know, nutrients, or just plain old-fashioned um, not enough rest sometimes. <laughs> so, but guys, I mean, 95% of the time or maybe even more, I'm feeling good every day. And I'm doing it relatively easy. Now, tonight's dinner, by the way, let me let me go ahead and show you tonight's dinner right here. So you can see I've had my one pound burger uh, with three eggs tonight. Now, uh, my wife picked up the meat for me today. It was a 75-25. So I was glad that she got something a little more fatty than the 80-20. That was awesome. And uh, she picked up, it was like 0. 0.95 pounds. So it was just a hair under a pound. And which is fine, whatever. Um, so I just went and added, uh, I added one egg in the mix. As you guys know, with my burger recipe, I like to add in one egg and then salt, pepper, garlic, a little smoked paprika, a little bit of Tabasco. Same recipe I, I, I told you guys. And I mix, I mix it all up by hand, get it all nice and, you know, uh, pressed and worked, worked in there. And um, so, yeah, it did fall apart on me tonight. I think I pressed it a little extra thin did kind of fall apart on me a little bit. I, I don't know. But um, but it, either way, it was delicious. The three eggs, I made them over medium and uh, two and a half runny-ish because the third one's kind of broke. And it broke, but it still retained a little bit of liquid. Um, so I had that over. over. I just ended up putting them on top of the, the uh, burger patty and just eating them all, you know, like letting the yolks and everything. It was just it was delicious. Um, but I just thought I would need a few extra eggs tonight and I wanted the yolks to be runny because when I have the yolk or the egg in the burger, I'm always cooking it. Um, whereas like with over medium eggs, the yolks are runny. So I feel like you're, I'm probably going to get a little more nutrients out of that than cooking it. 
Um, but I also don't like runny, runny whites. Sorry, guys. Can't do over easy or raw. I just can't. I'm sorry. Um, snot. Ugh. Anyways, uh, but that was my dinner. And I didn't have any other snacks today because uh, I just was a it was a busy day. I broke down at work with my work vehicle. I had to switch vehicles. I had to go to the dealership uh, with my work vehicle. And it just was it was a rough day at work. So I ended up not doing stuff. Oh, and again, I got my coffee. And like I, was, I showed you guys on the live, that's my uh, that's the exact same iodine drops that uh, Dr. Barry has. And of course, what I do, I just take out the dropper, and I'm just going to show you one, two, three, and that's how much I like to put in right now into my coffee. Um, I know some of you might give me a little grief about may not be enough or blah blah blah. It's enough. It's enough for now. I've been doing it every day. Uh, there has been some time uh, I did skip a little bit of the iodine when I was sick. Um, I said there was a few times I did kind of skip the iodine. I just wanted to see if there was any difference. I have not noticed any difference. But what I also said on the live was sometimes you may not feel a difference on something, but it, it, it could also be that because I'm taking the iodine, I'm not gonna get any worse or something you know what i mean like it maybe you're preventing things uh, versus something that's gonna make you feel better um so that's my goal guys as far as now you can see where i've been what i am um i'll even have a little bit of pictures here i'll show you guys right here um here is my before this is the very start and of course the middle picture is day 90 and then the picture I'm in black is on day 120. Now, before anybody gives me grief about the different colored shirt, I lost enough weight to graduate to the black collared shirts, and I didn't have my gray shirt on hand. So next time on day 150, I'm going to do my best to find a gray shirt or dig that one out somewhere, and I will because now I've been wearing the black collared shirts which is what my work prefers, but now that I can fit into them. So it is a little bit of a cheat that you are seeing me in black on that third picture. But again, I gave you my stats. So I am two and a half inches thinner around the waist and an inch thinner around the chest. Um, but but that's it. That's I, want, I just wanted to share with you guys the summary of the live and, of course, the goals. Uh, 250. I want to hit 250 by day 180. Um, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep eating. I'm going to focus on eating about a pound of meat plus maybe eggs, hard boiled eggs. Uh, I might throw in some bacon occasionally. Like I said, we'll just see. Uh, we'll see where my appetite takes me. And of course, I'm still going to keep drinking coffee um, with a splash of cream. And that's about all I've been using the heavy cream. I've been getting away a lot from the heavy cream. And I used to put the heavy cream, the splash of heavy cream, in my burger meat every time. Now I only do it if the burger meat, you know, if it's over a pound and and maybe the burger is just, it absorbs that egg a little too much. And maybe it's, I might do a splash of, of heavy cream then. Um, but um, but for the most part, I've just been saving it for my, my coffee. Haven't been hitting a lot of the cheese um, too much. So just really eggs and meat and bacon and butter, the, the, just the standard. So, all right, guys, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, thank you all so much for the love support. And thank you for everybody that was able to show up. And thank you for everybody that watched the replay. Thank you guys so, so much. Over 800 subs, guys. You guys are amazing. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I never would have thought. I love you guys. Seriously, I, I couldn't do this without you. Um, and I mean, and if you want to get it even in more depth, go check out the live. Seriously, it was really fun. We had a good time. Go check out the live. All right. We'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.